in about 20 minutes. I'll look at your five-day forecast right now. Nick, back to you. All right, Matt, but of course, before we let you go, we are going to be starting to shake things up here on CHCH News at 6. In a few minutes, you are going to be bringing us your own special brand of entertainment. You know, I really can't wait, and I'm just hoping it's a little bit better than those weather magic tricks we tried, uh, tried back in the cold days. Which, by the way, are on YouTube now. They are indeed. <laughs> I've watched them a couple times when I needed to laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I watched them too. Uh, living through them was bad enough. But, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't want to give everything away right now, Nick, because uh, we want to leave uh, something as a surprise. But I will give you a little bit of a hint. Bishop Ryan High School is playing the right tune, and I'll tell you more about that. And if you know someone who can inhale a drink, wait until you see this. All of that coming up when CHH News at 6 continues right after this. Joining me now on the desk is our very own Matt Hayes. We know he does weather. He always entertains us with his weather segments as well. You've always sort of been able to combine that. So we thought tonight Matt's going to give us his look at entertainment news, and I'm sure it'll be just as amusing, if not more so. Well, it's a little bit of everything. It's a hodgepodge, Nick. Mm -hmm. It's entertainment. It's some local stuff. It's some um, weird stuff yeah. that we've uh, found on our uh, different feeds I'm and wires and stuff. This. Yeah. Now, right. you know, we had a meeting uh, earlier today, and we were trying to discuss uh, what we would do with the show and, and, and what it would be called yes. and everything. And people came out with some ideas and I didn't think... Very creative oh, and original, I'm sure. very good. No? So I thought about it. I gave it a lot of thought. And, and after a lot of thought, I came up with the perfect title and Let's the perfect see. opening. Okay. There it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, the Matt Hayes show. Yeah. You need a voiceover or something. I, I do. Oh, yeah? Hey, you could be my Ed McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Matty. Okay, now just throwing a lot of that is correct, sir, okay, from here on? Yes, sir. All right, <laughs> thank you very much. All right, let's start by going back to school. Students from Bishop Ryan High School in Hamilton are performing a series of concerts today. <laughs> The Express Band put on several performances at Carmen's Banquet Center on the East Mountain. More than 3,000 students from different elementary schools in the area attended. Be Our Expression is the name of Bishop Ryan's award-winning show. The show covers the top 40 hits of the last 40 years, including the music of Rihanna and Pink, Bon Jovi, Guns N' Roses, and Aerosmith. If you didn't see any of the music today, you're not too late. The band will be playing again tonight, 7.30 at Carmen's. Tickets, $10. The money will help cover costs when they travel to the Heritage Music Festival in Boston next month. Well, she's a superstar on the tube, as well as a hot tweet topic on Twitter. But now Scotland's Susan Boyle has some fierce competition on Britain's Got Talent. Meet Shaheen Jaffa Jolie. He has more than half a million hits on YouTube. When he took to the stage, he began singing an Amy Winehouse song, but was quickly stopped by Simon Cowell, who told him to sing something else. That something else was the Jackson 5's Who's Loving You, and that earned him a standing O from the British judge and the crowd. Meanwhile, there are more than 30 million hits of Boyle's performance, and she's got a celebrity fan too. British singer Elaine Page says Boyle is a role model for everyone who has a dream and is now touting the idea of them singing together. On her BBC radio show, Page told her audience it seems her performance has captured the hearts of everyone who saw it, me included. And one more note on Boyle, there were a lot of responses to Mark's rant on Friday. He'll be facing the music on the Mark Hebsher show a little later in the hour. Speaking of a web craze, there's a lot of clicking Canadians that also happen to be huge KISS fans. The band has been asking their fans to vote online for which cities they should include in the next North American tour. Eight of the top ten cities are Canadian. Winnipeg has the most votes, followed by Kingston, Oshawa, Calgary, Toronto, Ottawa, Edmonton, and Saskatoon. Dallas and New York City are the only American cities in the top ten. More news on Madonna. She's definitely a woman who knows how to get on a horse and fall off one. She took a tumble while riding Saturday afternoon in the Hamptons. Apparently her horse was spooked by a photographer who jumped out of some bushes. But the photographer says he was there after the fact. 
The material girl was treated for bruises, minor injuries, particularly a bruised ego. Less serious than the 2005 accident in England when she broke her collarbone and cracked some ribs. This next story has little to do with entertainment, but it is visual. It's a Lamborghini tucked under an SUV. It seems the driver of the high-end car didn't stop quickly enough when the other vehicle slammed on the brakes. Washington State Highway Patrol confirms the mishap. Lamborghini owners know the car comes with a six-figure price tag. Although we're not sure how much this one costs, one thing is certain. The insurance company isn't going to like dealing with this claim. Pretty soon they may be saying don't inhale and drive. Well, maybe they are saying that already. The reason I say this is because there's a new bar opened in London's Soho district and it's giving customers the chance to literally inhale their drinks. For about $7, patrons can experience a vaporized gin and tonic. Now, in order to do this, the customer has to wear a protective suit over his or her clothing that a special machine is used to create the cloud of gin and tonic, and the customer just has to breathe to get a buzz. Your idea is to take the GNT, vaporize it um, using sort of industrial technology, and it creates a vast cloud. It's like going into a cocktail on an architectural scale, hence alcoholic architecture. Now, doctors were involved in the development of the process to determine how long a person can safely inhale, inhale alcoholic fumes. Maybe I've had a few already myself. And we can tell you that patrons are allowed to stay inside the vapor bar for one hour. So that does it for the first Matt Hayes Show. If you have any ideas or local events you want to send to me, just go to our website, chchnews.ca, and click on Tips and Pits. And if it's weird, we'll put it on the air. That almost looked like an April Fool's thing, the I know. Uh, vaporized gin and tonics. I mean, come on. I'm going to open a beer and sniff it when I go home, see yeah, if it works. Yeah, no kidding. Just sort of sniff. Uh, yeah. Well, we've heard about that in other uh, illicit substances. But uh, <laughs> anyway, there you go, Matt. Very informative. Mark Thank Hepsher, you. speaking of inhaling, he's going to be talking about inhaling as well when he tackles marijuana legalization issues on his 420 rants.